Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. We have one more segment for you this morning. And the Bishop Anstey High School Choir is presenting We Ting. It's coming up next Sunday at the Jubilee Hall. This morning, I want to welcome Adafi Palmo, music teacher and choir conductor at Bishop Anstey High School. Good morning, Adafi. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Hi there. I'm excited for this. How are you doing? You must be excited. Is We Ting? I know you're a part of the Hilarion family. By extension, I don't mm. have a choice at this point. Yes. <laughs> and we love it like that. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what we have in store for next Sunday? Well, by doing a concert of all local music, um, although we will not be doing a little local today, but, you know, we have restraints, but <laughs> it's going to be um, mostly uh, the Bishop Ansi High School Choir. Okay. The Steel side is going to be performing as well. Mm -hmm. So people who would have um, followed them for Panorama is going to get a little taste of them again. We have our school dance club that's also going to be performing. Contemporary dance, they're actually going to be doing an African and dance. Um, we're going to be having some guest performers as well. Mm -hmm. So we have Marvin Newton that we all mm, know and love nice. very, very much. Uh, we'll be having Mikhail Salcido as well, who is actually a Hilarian daddy. His daughter is in sixth form at our school. She's in sixth form already? Listen, I can't take it. When they, they, they just grow up so fast. I feel real old boy. Yeah. I remember when she passed the bishops. Exactly. Wow. Yep, and she's in lower six, going into upper six next year. Damn. Yeah. So we're also going to be having um, uh, the dance club from Diego Martin Central Secondary School. Okay. Yeah, I taught there before, and we, we have a good relationship, so I've invited them to be a part of our show as well. So it's going to be a very exciting presentation. What are we What are we raising funds for? Well, you know, post-pandemic, a lot of the schools, and in particular, a school like ours, that's a government-assisted school, we're still struggling mm -hmm. so you know anything that the choir needs we need to do for ourselves because you know we don't want to add a weight onto the to the wider school community so we've been doing fundraising for everything so this time we're looking to do some more formal uniforms for the girls so mm -hmm. that when we have to perform at little you know external events we could look when fans a little bit <laughs> Mm -hmm. um, um, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we could have nice formal uniforms and we want to also contribute to the school, you know, because every school are in under financial constraints. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the, the cultural component at Bishop Anstey High School, I, I really appreciate the amount of, like you mentioned the, the choir, you mentioned the steel pan ensemble, you mentioned the dance group. How important is that? in the school community? It is crucial to our school community. We believe in holistic development at Bishops, so anything that we can involve the girls in that will give them a taste of something outside of their academic pursuits, mm -hmm. we are always interested in doing. I am supervisory for a lot of the clubs at this school because I don't want any girl to ever miss an opportunity. So when they ask, I just say, yeah, sure, I'll supervise that for you. <laughs> yeah, so I never go home. Like, my mom doesn't see me at all. <laughs> nice, good job. And you know, that, that dedication, <laughs> it, it definitely pays off. Uh, because, tell me, have you seen the changes in, in the girls who come in at Form 1 and when they leave at Form 5 or Form 6? Absolutely. And not Absolutely. just the natural changes, but the changes that, yes. that come as a result of the, the culture. Absolutely, in confidence, yeah. in, the, in their own just knowing what they can do outside of just academics, mm -hmm. you know, because some of them may feel a little insecure about their academic performance. And when they start getting involved in extracurricular activities, you really see them open up. You see them more confident. You see their, even their academic performance improves, mm -hmm. you know, because their belief in themselves improves. So they push themselves even more. And I talk a lot about studying and making sure that they do the things that they're supposed to. So my choir girls, I like to, to you know, just always kind of poke a little thing in there. My choir girls always perform well. I'm always proud of them. Mm -hmm. And that, that performance is a nice balance because it's not just about the academics, it's yeah. also about performing in the And it really teaches well. them to, to manage their time, ah. right? Because choirs, you know, one extra thing, but some of them are involved in four Several. five <laughs> extra things. So they have to manage their time so that their academics isn't affected. All right, so let's talk. Well, firstly, tell me the price of the tickets to come on, on next right. Sunday. So for adults, it's 150 mm -hmm. For students, 18 years and under, it's $60. How do I prove I'm an under-18 student? The gray is not helping you. Well, not me, okay. particularly, but okay. if I find... Mm. Anyway. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> if I were to say I'm bringing a student that's under-18, do yes. you to provide ID or do I just, you're just going to trust the process? We trust that people are going to be honest. Good on you. <laughs> Good on you. All right. So we also have food and drink on sale and you don't want to miss it. So we have the dance club. Mm -hmm. We have the choir, the steel, 
we have some spoken word. Yes, one of our students in the choir is, is a budding poet. Okay. So um, I'm giving her the opportunity to express herself through her spoken word piece. Fantastic. I look forward to it. And it's happening next Sunday, June 30th at the Jubilee Hall in Bishop Anstey High School. Yep. I want you to do me a favor and introduce the young ladies that we have on set here with us today. <sighs> These are my big babies. No. Uh, they're all... Big hard back, Sharon, you call them babies? Yes, <laughs> and they'll always be my babies. They're form <laughs> five girls who have just um, had their valedictory service, so they are no officially no longer Bishop's girls, but you know, forever Bishop's girls. They still so own they're... a uniform. <laughs> yes, I know. Here we have Tasana Green Mirage. Next to her, we have Amory Reyes, and those will be our vocalists for today. On the keyboard behind, we have Soraya Lawrence, and on tenor pan, we have Ariel Mark and violin Kyla Logie. So tell me something, did we have to pause all these um, rehearsals and choir and steel pan and violin and keyboard and we had to pause all those things for exams? Or we just work through and find the balance? We power through. I, I, I don't think it's an excuse to, to miss rehearsals, to miss performances. I think, you know, it's all a part of your life, mm -hmm. right? And for us to be able to learn again time management and juggling all of the things that adults have to juggle, we learn how to do it through our extracurricular activities as well. So we have rehearsals every Friday, come hell or high water. <laughs> and sometimes there might be some high water, <laughs> especially in the rainy season. Yes. All right, so tell me a little bit about this song that we're going to be doing today. But hold on, this, this is like an ensemble I'll perform at the show, or this is a version of an ensemble, or what's this? This is a version of an ensemble. Okay. At this show, we're going to have a few of these girls, but not all of them. And they're going to be, well, Almost everybody is going to be in the concert in, in some capacity because mm -hmm. uh, only two of the girls aren't choir girls. So three of them will definitely be on stage <laughs> in choir. Um, but this is an ensemble that sort of grew as it went along. It started off as something that we had to do for school and then it turned into a valedictory service performance. So actually, the piece that we're doing today is what they performed at their valedictory service on Thursday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, so we get an episode of auditory performance. Yes, because uh -huh. we, well, our other girls are in exams as we speak, so You're I just couldn't tell bring everybody that the else. Exams don't matter. Well, I you mean, they have bring to them actually write the, the exam. exam. <laughs> Le, right now? School yeah, doesn't they, start yet? They school write as, as 8 o'clock, they'll be in exams. All right, that's fair. Yeah. All right, didn't go rough them up too much. <laughs> All right, so um, ladies, if you don't mind, you'll give us a valedictory performance to close off the show this morning, yeah? All right, so I want to encourage each and every one of you to go out there and make a difference today now because together we aspire, and if together we perspire, then together we most definitely can achieve. Let me also just remind you guys that this evening from 7 p.m., we'll be having the launch of Tobago Carnival happening on TTT, but it's happening online. So tune in online and you can definitely be a part of that launch. I'm Rockus, wishing you a beautiful weekend. Please be safe. Have all the fun that you want to have. Remember, we're supporting West Indies this evening. Big up to DK Rasta. Thank you so much for being on with us today. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get into, well, I don't know what to call them, the Bishop Anstey Ensemble. Yeah. A we version we of have the a working name. Oh, what's the working name? Task. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll put that one to task. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we close off this show this morning. Enjoy the weekend. Take it away, task.